At its core, this project to protect the northern meadowlark butterfly is really an effort to maintain native biodiversity along the Appalachian Trail corridor. The meadowlark butterfly is just a really small butterfly. It's pretty understated, so it has brown top wings. And then the underside is a surprising bright orange-yellow color. And it gets its name for the silvery, shiny lines that outline the edge of the wings. This species is a G3 species, which means it is globally rare, and it exists only today in these very small, isolated populations across its range. The population that we have here in the Appalachian Trail Corridor is the northernmost population. It is also the last remaining population in the state of Connecticut. We've been monitoring the butterfly at this location for a little over a decade, and what we've been doing is trying to gradually improve the habitat conditions. So we've spent a lot of time removing invasive species. We've been planting the native plant species that the butterfly require for survival. And we've also been doing some management of that early successional meadow habitat. And in that past decade, we have seen an increase in the overall number of butterflies at this site. That's what we want to keep seeing, and we'll keep making changes in order to improve those conditions for them. If you're just walking the trail, you will probably not see them. We're walking through the woods, and then all of a sudden you get to this little area where the sun is shining, and you see black-eyed Susans, and you see it sloping and you just take a few steps that way and you see five of them just flittering in the air or basking in the sun on an oak leaf. Even if they're small, these butterflies are, are beautiful and there are only a few species in North America to begin with and they're all pretty rare, so it would be pretty tragic to lose just one of them. The Appalachian Trail is home to more than 1,800 known populations of rare, threatened, and endangered species. So it has very high biodiversity and perhaps some of the highest biodiversity of any national park unit in the country. I don't know if the founders of the trail or those who envisioned it initially could imagine at the time how valuable it would be for biodiversity in the future. That continuity of the landscape is one of the most valuable things that the trail offers. These places matter to me because I think they make the trail experience. Whether we know it or not, we're all benefiting from areas that are protected and are healthy, whether it's listening to the birds or just enjoying the variety of, of wildflowers. The Appalachian Trail is certainly a world-class recreation opportunity, but it's so much more than that. It is an incredible corridor, north to south, thousands of miles long, that is a greenway for a species to move, to adapt, and to find habitat. This project is exciting to me particularly because it's the northernmost population of the northern mark butterfly. And as the climate warms and habitats change and shift, we want to provide the opportunity for species to move northward. And this particular location and population could be one of the populations that helps the species continue to move and survive in the eastern U.S.